So Roasties have made Savosin a pro skate, and I'm not talking about that Jurassic one that was a not even an aggressive skate. I'm talking an actual aggressive skate this time. It's a fifth element, and it's the Roasties Aquamarine. Now my first reaction to these skates was the color scheme seemed kind of cheap. I don't know how to describe it, but it reminds me of like cheap plastic toys from like McDonald's or something. But now I absolutely love the look of the skate. I think it is beautiful. I think the green really works well together. I love the white highlights and the blue highlights, and especially that warped checker design on the wheels and the liner. This skate is beautiful, but more importantly, I'm so happy that Rosie's is getting behind such a creative young skater. Ilya is not following in anyone's footsteps, he's set in his own way, and he makes that very clear with the promo edit he made for this video, and it's like such a Russian fever dream of a promo edit, I absolutely love it, it is like very unique, you won't see this from any other pro skater out there. Savosin definitely takes the crown away from Chris Farmer for being a winter skater, he's skating in negative 25 degrees, I have no idea what that means. So many of the hammers in this edit, he's landing just running in on snow, there's even a handrail line we're in the middle he ain't skating for the next rail he's only just running in the snow and he still absolutely lace the handrail like it's nothing it's so impressive the edit just gives mega zoomer energy and i mean that as a compliment it's so sick it's very savosin rosie's also released a new m12 called the rosie's mulva and it seems to be very similar colorways to that razor's blade x locust skate that was teased at blading cup but it seems to be done a lot better. It's like a, a better looking version than that scape. Maybe that's just my opinions. Once again, I get some weird cheap plastic vibes. I don't know what that is. Is that just me? You gotta let me know. It's a very girly looking skate, which I'm happy to see. And this also ships at the end of March and you can pre-order it right now. And then I have a Blade News exclusive skate that is getting launched with this video right now. And it's very limited startup run. And that is of some brand new skates called the Claymore now, skates. This is a big wheel, handmade in Scotland, beautiful skate here that features its own style of memory buckle as well as a urethane toe box and a bunch of other really good looking features now this is an extremely limited skate so if you're interested definitely go check them out i'll link you to a video of the creator explaining some more about the skates but the whole idea with the brand was they want to make aggressive skates but they have to raise the money to be able to make the parts for that and to do that instead of doing like a kickstarter or something like that they're going to sell you an uh, actual product, which is this skate here. Billy Merton, one of the dopest street skaters in the UK, released a VOD that is a must watch. The whole vod is filmed in Billy's Ocean City hometown and it looks really beautiful. The spots he gets to skate, the way it's shot, it's all like standard definition looking, so it looks really goddamn good. The skating itself, it's so street, there's so many like creative tricks that you don't see ever. Like um, there's a bunch of like negative switch ups that I had to like Rewatch like three times to understand, as well as just some beautiful rail switch ups. Lots of sick rails, sick spots. I love this like little, I don't even know what you call this grind, but with the like heel drag. It was so goddamn sick. This is a beautiful piece of art that everyone should definitely check out. And uh, especially if you want to get motivated to go street skate. Speaking of street skating, Cy Coburn has a piece by Big Wheel Blading that is so goddamn sick it's an aggressive edit that's not done on aggressive skates well that's how i'm going to describe it anyway and it gives us a peek into a world of skating where we didn't dive so hard into big sole plates small wheels there's a bunch of grinds down here on non-aggressive skates as well as just heaps of really inspiring creative skating and Sai is such a good skater, I really love to see this one. It surprised me, you should definitely check it out. Now if you're curious about the Anthony Pottier FR skates that just came out, then Sasha has you covered with their very authentic review on the skate. I really like the vibe of it. It felt like you were just hanging out with him and he's telling you what the skates are like. And I learned a lot from it and goddamn, he makes those skates look fun. It also doesn't hurt that he's wearing a lace shirt in the video and rocking the lace laces. So thanks so much, Sasha. That's my company, by the way. This is that sweatshirt. The switch is still available. Make sure you grab it, support me, help the show. Anyway, did you know Savosin has a whole YouTube channel that he just calls Savosin Cringe, where he does cringy stuff, I guess? I have a good video to give you an idea of what the channel is about, where he films a whole video with an Insta360 camera in his mouth. And it is, I feel like I got COVID watching it. This is so funny. Dude. I couldn't even like pay attention to the skating because of how ridiculous these shots looked. And uh, yeah, it's a good example of what this channel is filled with and definitely check it out. And also a good example of how dope Savosin is. And then for a trip down memory lane, I have a remastered version of that Chris Heffy edit at Factory Skate, is that what it's called? Skate Factory, sorry. Uh, where Chris Heffy like ticks off every single trick done on this hubbard by pro skaters. 
and it's uh, so goddamn hype and such a good video. You should definitely watch it. And shout out to Yarn for remastering all these dope videos of our time. It's really cool to see them in a better quality than freaking 280p. It's so sick. Now, I could learn a thing or two from Liam with this perfect 1260 second try, by the way. And speaking of learning things, I am actually going back to school next week, which means this channel is definitely going to suffer. I'm going to keep uploads coming, but if it slows down, that's why. But if you want to help me and maybe not have to go to school and, and try to get a real job, then you can sub to me on Twitch for free with Amazon Prime if you have it and it helps me a shit ton. Or you can consider becoming a patron for as little as three bucks a month. You get a few perks for that. Or you can buy some laces to have the sweatshirt. And come on, it's the sickest sweatshirt you've ever seen. You can buy it. Let me ship it out to you. You'll love it. Trust me. But I also want to give a huge thank you to my Blade News correspondents. It's Anthony and Christian. James, Matt, Palmer, Sonic Sports, Shane, Heiss, and Xander, as well as the rest of my patrons and members. They're holding me down. I appreciate them so much. Now tell me, in the comments below, is this a 900 front flip or a Misty 1260? Because people seem to be up in arms about it. Hi, Jim this here. This is a 900 front flip, actually. I'd rather see a 540 done with style.